Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Magpuri kayo sa Panginoon Diyos, lahat ng saan kinapan. Pagsiawit kayo at siya'y magdangan, magpapayan man. Magpuri kayo mga anghel ng Diyos sa In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us to, into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, whose abundant grace prepared St. Henry to be raised by you in a wonderful way from the cares of earthly rule to heavenly realms. Grant, we pray, through his intercession, that amid the uncertainties of this world, we may hasten towards you with minds made pure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. Judah approached Joseph and said, I beg you, my Lord, let your servant speak earnestly to my Lord. And do not become angry with your servant, for you are the equal of Pharaoh. My Lord asked your servants, Have you a father or another brother? So we said to my Lord, We have an aged father and a young brother, the child of his old age. This one's full brother is dead, and since he is the only one, by that mother who is left, his father dotes on him. Then you told your servants, Bring him down to me that my eyes may look on him, unless your youngest brother comes back with you, you shall not come into my presence again. When we return to your servant, our father, we reported to him the words of my Lord. Later, our father told us to come back and buy some food for the family. So we reminded him, 
we cannot go down there. Only if our youngest brother is with us can we go. For we may not see the man if our youngest brother is not with us. Then your servant, our father, said to us, As you know, my wife bore me two sons. One of them, however, disappeared, and I had to conclude that he must have been torn to pieces by wild beasts. I have not seen him since. If you now take this one away from me too, and some disaster befalls him, you will send my white head down to the netherworld in grief. Joseph could no longer control himself in the presence of all his servants. So he cried out, Have everyone withdraw from me. Thus, no one else was about when he made himself known to his brothers. But his sabs were so loud that the Egyptians heard him, and so the news reached Pharaoh's palace. I am Joseph, he said to his brothers. Is my father still in good health? But his brothers could give him no answer, so dumbfounded were they at him. Come closer to me, he told his brothers. When they had done so, he said, I am your brother Joseph, whom you once sold into Egypt. But now, do not be distressed, and do not reproach yourselves for having sold me here. It was really for the sake of saving lives that God sent me here ahead of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. When the Lord called down a famine on the land and ruined the crop that sustained them, he sent a man before them, Joseph, sold as a slave. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. They had weighed him down with fetters, and he was bound with chains. Till his prediction came to pass, and the word of the Lord proved him true. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the people set him free. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all his possessions. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead. Cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cost, you have received. Without cost, you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts. No sack for the journey or a second tunic or sandals or walking stick. The laborer deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. Whoever will not receive you or listen to your words, 
go outside that house or town and shake the dust from your feet. Amen, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We are known to be hospitable people. We prepare well for guests. We put our best foot forward when we accept visitors. We are all out whenever new people or same old people would come and visit us. We serve and give what is best. We give everything from what we have worked hard for. We make our houses or places a space where it is for everyone to call us home. To do this, I do believe that it is not only places or spaces that would need preparation. All stems from a good heart, an open and an accepting heart. Kaya, magilo tayong nagpapatuloy ng mga tao dahil bukal ito sa ating puso, nang gagaling ito sa kabutihan ng ating puso. With an, with an accepting and, and open heart, Joseph initiated peace, reconciliation, and a reconnection again with his brothers. Knowing the place or the standing of Joseph in our first reading today, he would rather wish or want that these brothers of him be doomed and damned. Pero dahil kapatid niya ang mga ito, may bukas siyang puso, may maluwag at magiliw na puso itong si Jose. May pagnanais na sila ay magkaisa muli at magkabati muli. As Jesus, as Jesus was preparing the apostles for mission in our gospel, He gave this reality that people will either be hospitable or not for them. May mga taong magiliw na tatanggap sa kanila. May mga taong malupit ding pagtakpan at talikuran sila. Mga taong hindi handang tumanggap sa kanilang presensya at mas lalong hindi tanggap. At mas lalong hindi tanggap na aka, akain at akapin ang mabuting balita at ang Diyos mismo. My dear brothers and sisters, in the midst of all these realities, Jesus is asking all of us that whether people would be hospitable or not, let a good, welcoming, and caring heart prevail in us. Such is a mark of a good disciple and a good Christian. Jesus is asking, asking us, be available, accepting, and accommodating. And let these marks come and stem from a good and unclouded heart. Isang pusong maluwag at isang pusong handa. Dadaan po kasi tayo sa mga karanasan na minsan mahirap magpatawad, mahirap tumanggap ng mga tao, mahirap na mag-alay ng kapayapaan para sa bawat isa. Minsan dadaan din tayo sa mga pagkakataon na mahirap humarap sa mga taong minsan nagka, nagkasama, nagkasamaan tayo ng loob. Ngunit sana dumating ang pagkakataon na magiliw na tayo natatanggap muli. Magiliw na tayo sa pagtanggap muli, sa pagbibigay ng pag-asa, sa pag-aalay ng kapayapaan para sa bawat isa 
sa pagbibigay muli sa kanila ng presensya ng Diyos. In this world, let us not only prepare places for people, let us also prepare hearts for people. At a heart that is welcoming and forgiving is more than the demands of hospitality but beyond it. Iba na po kasi ang may magiliw at mapayapa ang puso. With nothing that hinder us, with nothing that is clouding our hearts, may we accommodate, accept, and make room for everyone, wishing, us, wishing all of us as well all peace and all blessings. Please stand. We are included in God's eternal plan. Each of us has been chosen in Christ for some hidden purpose. Our, our, our prayerful petitions come before the God who knows and cares for us. For every prayer, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the Church may continue to call and send more missionaries to preach the salvation of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That people who are confused or lacking self-respect may learn of God's plan for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That mercy may be shown to those who reject God's messengers and the truth they bring. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the seriously ill may welcome the sacrament of holy anointing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may join Christ in the final glory of his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord all the prayers offered in this Mass as well as the prayers of our brothers and sisters joining us via online streaming, our prayers for one another, our prayers for our brothers and sisters suffering in distress these days of bad weather. May God bless us with safety and protection, with peace and security. We offer as well our prayers for one another and our own intentions. For all of these we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, you have adopted us as your children. Help us to appreciate your many blessings as we offer these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Through the present oblation, O Lord, which we offer in commemoration of blessed Henry, Bestow on your faithful, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As an exaltation, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world 
and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Henry and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread. bread. And, and forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please still. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, in commemoration of blessed Henry, sanctify our minds and hearts, that we may merit to be made sharers in the divine nature, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before the final blessing, we wish to thank you for celebrating with us our Eucharist this morning. Before, As we also receive God's blessings today, let us also ask the Lord for, the, for God's blessings and guidance for Fathers Bong and Father Kali as their departure for Rome gets near. Let us ask the intercession of the Blessed Mother to bless them with holy perseverance, with joy in their hearts as they face this new ministry, and zeal for study for the greater glory of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray, pray for, for us sinners, sinners and now and at the hour of our, of our death. death. Amen. Amen. We also pray for the safety of everyone. May God bless us with peace, with security, and with God's presence all the days of our life. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. 
go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 